Hello guys, this is Karthik from ExilAutomation.com and this is part 7 of our Understanding Mock video series. And in this part, we're going to start looking at mocking for properties get and set operation. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 6 since this part have some code from that part. Mocking properties. Using mock, we can also set a value to the property or get the value out from a property. So this way, you can ensure that the code you are working works as expected while there requires some functionalities which is tied with a property's value. So let's quickly see this in Visual Studio and start to work of how to set a value to a property for a mock object and how to get a value out from a mock object using mock framework. So this is the same project which you worked in our last video of this video series. But this time, I'm going to make few changes in the code. So I'm not going to use this code. So I'm going to delete this. And instead of using the get employee valid email address method, I'm going to use a different method. So let's navigate to this particular class. And the method I'm going to use this time is get graduate eligible count. So in this method, we have a property like graduate eligible count. And here, Whichever employee is eligible for the graduate, I'm just checking with the simple logic like get duration worked. If they are the duration worked is greater than 30 months, which is not going to be possible, but still I'm setting it. If it is greater than 30, then I'm increasing the employee's count and then I'm setting this employee count to the graduate eligible count right here. And then I'm returning the underscore employee personal details dot graduate count as a return value. And I will be using this particular property in future in any of the methods within this particular application to see if how many employees has this particular account and then I perform some other operation. So this is going to be my set operation for this particular property. So I'm going to verify whether the set operation of this particular property has happened or not. So in order for that to be done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly change our code here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the get graduate eligible count. And what this method expects me to pass is the list of employees. But currently I have only one employee, which is not going to work out anyways. So as usual, I'm going to go to the employees entity and I'm going to cut some of the employees right from here and then I'm going to paste it right here. All right. And then let's do it like this. So our list has the employees. So I'm going to take that. All right. And then I'm going to pass the employees here. Great. So this is my arrange and this is going to be my act operation. So the act is going to be right here. So this is my arrange operation. All right. And then I need to verify. So usually we use this verify method, but rather using the verify method this time, I'm going to use something called as verify set. So this is used for verifying the setter operation of a particular property. So I can then call this method and as usual, I'm going to call the lambda expression and then I'm going to verify the graduate eligible count value has been set to a integer or not. So I'm just going to verify this operation this time. And now you can see there will be a small error saying obsolete mock extension uh, error replace that by verify set of action. Of course, we are setting everything correctly, but the only mistake we have made is instead of equals, we are giving a double equals here. So that's the problem. So if you just remove that, then it will be fine. So all you're doing is to check whether this particular property is set to is any of type integer that's it so now i'm going to save this code and now if i quickly run this particular code you can see that the test will pass oops i think there is some problem hmm maybe i have added more number of 
open and close braces here. Okay, so let me quickly build the solution. All right, and now if I run this, this time the test method should pass. All right, so it seems like the setter operation is working fine right now. And how to ensure that is the setter operation is really working? So for that, I'm going to go to this particular code. Instead of calling this setter operation, I'm just going to comment this code. So now this guy is not going to set any value to this particular property. Now if I go to this unit test, and now if I try to run this particular test, you can see that this test method will now fail. And it also says that the expected invocation on the mock is at least one time, but the center operation has not been performed ever. So that's why the test is now failing. All right. So this is how you can see that you can verify a setter operation of a particular property. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to verify the getter operation of the same property. So I want to verify if the property's value is really being setting and I can able to get its property or not. So that's my uh, next job. So for doing that, I'm going to use our setup method once again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call our setup method and I'm going to create give a lambda expression here and I'm going to say dot and the gratuity eligible count. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to return the value uh, maybe three every time, something like that. And then I'm just going to set up a value here. And then this time what I'm going to do is instead of verify set method, I'm going to ver use the verify get method. And I'm not going to do this particular integer. I'm just going to verify the get operation of a particular mock object. And now if I try to run this code, you will see that the test will still pass because we are setting a value to this particular property here. And then we are also verifying if that particular property has been uh, set there and we are really uh, getting the value out from it. Because if you see this particular method, we are still getting the, the property into this particular method. But what if I do this? Instead of returning a property value, if I return a employee count here, if I save this particular method, and now if I try to run this code, you will see the real error happens. This time the method will fail. It says that at least one time the property has to be called, but the property has not been called ever. And that's why the operation fails. So this is how you can verify the get operation of a particular property using our mock framework. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.